Welcome back to Big Idea, your daily roadmap to the American dream. Tonight, our show will make you see your home in a whole new light because behind every door, in every room, there's an idea just waiting for you. It's the thing that's missing in your daily routine that will make life a little bit easier. That's what an idea is. And if you learn to open your eyes to the possibilities, you make yourself a very wealthy person. My next guest did when he invented one of those popular beverages on the market in his basement and just sold for 250 million bucks. The Big Idea. Fuse. Billed as a healthier alternative to the sugary soft drinks of the world. Fuse launched in 2001 with a company credo of make a change for the better. Fuse offers a variety of fruity flavors, as well as specialty teas and sports drinks. And in its first three years, Fuse sold more than 150 million bottles. Good enough to catch the eye of Coca-Cola. So what happened? Coke put Fuse on its to-do list in 2007, completing a purchase of the brand new company in March. Lance Collins, founder and CEO of Fuse Beverage. Welcome to Big Idea, man. Good to see you. So whole show tonight about men and women making it big, making big bucks, figuring it out in their home. Products not being serviced for the home, ideas that come out of the home. You're an instance of something. This was not a new invention in what somebody would have seen as a pretty sat saturated market, the new age beverage. Yet you go down your basement and you figure out a, a better formula. What the hell happened? I would say five years ago, about 2001, I started in the basement of my house, as you said. And I had a beverage background. And... You know, I was basically uh, coming out of a failed business deal, failed marriage. I wanted to make a change in what I did uh, for the better and what I ate and drank. I started working out. And I went down to the Food Emporium in Kings. And I looked at the wall of beverages that were out there. And I was really surprised at all the beverages that were being sold under the moniker of being healthy. Products that said healthy refreshment, but they're really healthy deception. You pick up the bottle. Now, give me a first instance, because you came from the business. And once again... It happens all the time. It's where the best ideas comes out of a personal need. You were like, hey, I want to get back out in shape. There's really nothing in there that I think, at least I know, is good, being what I know. What, what, don't, what did you know that I didn't know that's not being, that wasn't being serviced? Well, you know, companies were deceptive in what they were making. And, uh, you know, something was said healthy refreshment wasn't. It was 60 or 70 grams of sugar, uh, four or 500 calories in a bottle. The only thing good about it was they might have had a little dash of vitamins and a little dash of herbs and, you know, at the time, you have to relate back to 2001, and maybe we were a little ahead of the curve, but the press was picking up on uh, weighty issues such as obesity, sure, uh, stage 2 diabetes so in children. So you pretty much, because of your knowledge, you said, you know what, there really isn't the ultimate healthy drink. So what do you do from there? From there, I, I rolled up my sleeves. I, I gathered myself around uh, food scientists and sensory people. Uh, we actually made beverages in the basement of my house. Uh, then we figured out, you know what, we got something. We came up with five or six different flavors. What was the first thing you came up with? A, a brand called Slenderize. Okay. Uh, it, it, it's not on this table, but uh, it, um, it's a fruit-based drink, uh, fruit drink uh, with Super Citramax, Chromium, a whole metabolic. See, I, what surprises me, and you just sold your company to Coke for hundreds of millions of dollars, that with all these beverage goliaths out there, and you think there's so much healthy stuff out there that none of these guys figured out the stuff that wasn't in there that you did. That, that's almost shocking to me. Well, that's the thing. A lot of these companies are breaking the promise to consumers, which I felt would eventually lead to consumer dissatisfaction. So we went with that. Then we developed a tea, for instance, a green tea. I know there are green teas out there. What did you bring to the market? Well, for instance, if you look at the label, I'm the only one that has a label on there that says uh, contains equal antioxidant capacity of three servings of fruit and vegetables. If you look in the back... We're so proud of what's in our product is that we lay down the ingredients in each label. Full disclosure. Rehab, what is this? Rehab, again, that's Refresh, a... Fresh, recover, revive, recovery supplement. That's a recovery supplement. Rehab, is, is, it's got antioxidants. It's got, uh, it's got quercetin. It's got, it's got polyphenols. It's got all kinds of electrolytes. It tastes great. It's, is this, so it's, this is after I have a hangover, I drink this. this. If you've got a hangover... Is or, this an or, energy drink? This, is, this, this, this will give you energy. It's, it's loaded with natural caffeine, um, D-ribose. Good stuff. CoQ10, it's 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 fully loaded. Everything we do is fully loaded. We don't we don't we don't uh, we we spend it on the ingredients. That's the key thing. And the next thing you have to notice, you know, when you do come with the with the product, and it's the, everyone at home, is that you got to figure out the packaging. And we didn't have the the zillion dollar advertising budget sure. to go to you know Donny Deutsch and 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 put I us hate when that happens. ubiquitous. Right. But what we did, we figured it out is every bottle had to be a billboard in the store. 
that was the key. And the key to success of Fuse was we made it, we saw it, we loved the graphics, we knew we had something. No, you see a product. I mean, now, for instance, though, when you go in and you're trying to sell this for the first time, you got, you're talking to the beverage buyer or the, the health food buyer, whoever the hell it is in the grocery stores, they got a million of these products. Why did this guy say, okay, I'm going to put this thing on the shelf now? Was it the packaging? It was, it was the packaging and the eye appeal. 70% of the time, and the buyers know this, 70% of the time, a consumer walks in the store, he has not made up his mind as to what he wants. And, you know, it's an impulse kind of buy. And when they walk in, they see a beautiful billboard, these multi-colored you know, colored products. Right. They're going to they're gonna pick it up, and that's where you win. Lance Collins, man. Thank Great you. to see you. Lance Thank Collins, you. founder and CEO of Fuse Beverage. This man came up with an idea for a new drink right in his home. Now he's a multimillionaire. If that's not the American dream, I don't know what is. We'll show you how to do it tonight. Stay right here. It might be in your home also.